All right, in this lesson, we are going to add in some beam systems with those joists that we loaded, maybe even load another joist. I noticed that we did get this beam across, but we missed the one on the top of the second floor. So let's go down to there and let's draw a new beam. I'm gonna just pick on here and say, create similar. And I'm going to I notice I am on second floor and I'm no offsets or anything. Click on there, go to there, and go to there. Okay, and we go back to our 3D view, and now we can see we've added those beams in there. So let's go back to our second floor, and we've got um, some joists going this way, and then we've got some bigger spans over here. So we, let's load in a deeper joist. Let's go insert, load family, and let's go back to our metric. Um, libraries, metric, framing, structural, steel, and let's go find that K-series joist. Which is right here, uh, bar joist with the steel angle web, sure, heavy duty. And let's pick a size. We'll go with a, ooh, let's say we go with a 30 inch, two and a half feet deep. So I think we should have two joists loaded in here. We've got a 30, we've got a 12. Well, a 12 isn't going to be enough, but I suppose we could um, use it just for purposes of this exercise. So here we go. We go structure and we say beam system, which is here. And the beam system, we can use an automatic and you can see it'll automatically place these these beams across, but we'd want to have a look at what we're placing. Well, we want to use our um, the smaller joist for this one, which is the K12. Justification is going to be centered. I'm going to say I want a fixed number of, you know, 12 joists. Hover near here and then click and it'll put those 12 joists in. and then hover over here and it'll put another bank of joists in there and you want to pick the side that you want the span on and another one there and now maybe midway through I'm going to change to a deeper joist and I'm going to change my uh, rule to be um, fixed distance of, you know, 1,200, about four feet. And this time I'm going to span this direction. And I'll span in this direction. Now, where am I? I'm on the second floor still, right? So I'll have to go repeat that for the third floor. Yeah, that's top of second. Let's go have a look. Okay. So there's our smaller joists over there, and there's our bigger joists. But we're going to notice that they're kind of embedded. We didn't in, um, incorporate for the joist seat depth. If you click on this joist and you go to the properties, you're going to see that it has a seat depth of 63.5. Let's go control C and copy that to the clipboard. So what I need to do now is to hover over this. You see where it says structural beam system. Click on that beam system and then change that elevation to be 63.5 and it'll bump that up just enough. See how that works? Now I got to do it a couple times. So I'm going to hover over here See that beam system? Click on here. Now, can I do more than one at a time using my control button? Hmm, looks like I can. Control button, control button. So I grabbed all four of those beam systems. Control V, bump it up the 
joist seat depth. So now they're sitting on top of the beams. If I don't like the span direction, that's easy fix. I go in, I grab my beam system, and then I say edit boundary. And you can see this is the span direction. If I want to change my span direction, I go to beam direction and I pick on here. Wouldn't be a wise thing to do, but I could. Okay, let's go back and pick on here and finish. And click out. So there is our second floor open web steel joist framing.